Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? Hello, Tomato Art. Hello, Lucrezia. How are you doing? Hello, Lily. Welcome, welcome. A special welcome to my moderator. <laughs> How cl Hi Claire, how are you doing? How is everybody doing? I hope you had an amazing day today. All right. I'm so excited for today because we're playing more indie games. So today we are playing my alien roommate. We are continuing where we left off the other time. We played this game and then we're gonna play um, uh, camp uh, uh, oh <laughs> Don't mess up. Van camp boyfriend. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm doing great, Sammy. How are you? I'm doing great too. I'm doing pretty amazing. <laughs> Just a little tired, you know. But other than that, <laughs> today was a really busy day. Just like yesterday. Yesterday was just crazy. I had classes for the whole day and today as well. So that was pretty tiring. My brain is fried, but now I'm happy because I'm here, I'm able to play my games, so I'm excited and I'm also so excited to uh, to try out uh, Ben Camp Boyfriend because I looked it up um, while I was downloading it and the art is beautiful and oh my gosh, it's it's just the story is so appealing. Okay, let's see where we... Where were we here? Oh wow. Okay. Me too, very tired. I slept the whole afternoon. In the morning I went to the dentist and that took all of my energy. <gasps> my gosh, the dentist. I feel you, <laughs> I feel you deep in my heart. But it's good that you managed to sleep at least. That's good, that's good. Okay. So we left off basically when um, uh, there, basically uh, there was an alien who dropped by our balcony in our apartment and he decided to stay uh, living with us. Um, so now we are trying to train al alien to be a human. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome, welcome, Mare. How are you doing? I hope you had an amazing day today. We are playing uh, my alien roommate right now. We are just starting. Hello, Mirarin, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Once again, here in the early morning and reading things wrong. <laughs> Lucas and I burst into flames is what I read today. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Well, the morning uh, mornings are pretty tough, rough <laughs> to get by, so <laughs> get it. Well, good morning to you then. <laughs> I can't believe it's the day after for you. <laughs> it's crazy. So happy to be here. One more day. How are you all doing? 
doing pretty good. I'm happy you're happy to be here. <laughs> doing pretty good. I'm, I'm just so excited to continue playing these games. I love indie games, so... <laughs> so exciting! Okay, so we have met our uh, alien roommate already. His name is Enoch. And then we met uh, Lucas, who is our childhood friend here. And I think we have one more um, love interest to meet. So yeah, Lucas and I burst into class five minutes past the first bell. Writing something on the whiteboard, our teacher's misfortune. Misfortune, wow. <laughs> Frowns at our late arrival. Sorry we're late, ma'am. Yeah, sorry. My eyes flicker over to the source of the disdainful utterance. Ah, there you go. I think the, um, the other love interest is here. Of course. Sitting there in his tightly buttoned up, crisply ironed shirt is none other than class president Felix Young in all his arrogant mermaid glory. Can't even do something as simple as make it to school on time, Sammy. <gasps> he's, he's teasing us already. He regards me now with that familiar smirk on his obvious. I've come to know an eight. Oh wow. <laughs> I love Felix already. Good. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the smartest. You don't even live that far away. You really are hopeless. I can hear the content dripping from every syllable that leaves his mouth. Where do I even begin with this guy? For the last year and a half, since he transferred to our school, Felix and I haven't exactly had what you'd call a smooth sailing relationship. How do you know where I live anyway? Stalker much? In your dreams? Dreams? You wish. Any dream you're in automatically becomes a nightmare. <laughs> okay, I love their interactions. This typically, this typically goes back and forth for a while. It's the whole crux of my relationship with Felix. He makes a night comment about me, I fire back, and we take shots at, e at each other until someone tires out. I'll have you know that as class president, it's one of my duties to keep, to keep up to date with everyone's current addresses. Okay. Because unlike a certain someone, I know how to be responsible and organized. Can you get any more obnoxious? Yet my address remains fresh in your memory, out of everyone else in class. I didn't realize how important I was to you, metal mouth. Oh, don't flatter yourself. His lips cur <clears throat> curled back into a skull, exposing the itty bitty praises um, he hates me pointing out. They've always been a sore subject for him. I just count myself lucky he hasn't found a nickname for me yet, because I know he'd use it any chance he gets. Well, it's only really fair, I guess. Alright, you two, knock it off. Felix flushes red at Mrs. Fortune's admonishment. It's no secret he hates being chided uh, by any teacher, but Miss Fortune is the one he re revers uh, about them all. About them all. Sorry, ma'am, got carried away. A lion behind her back, but a kitty cat in her presence. And speaking of kitty cats... A couple rows behind him, cat pokes her head out and meets my eyes. Oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous! She grins and pretends to throw up in response to Felix's boot leaking as I try to suppress my laughter. Is something funny? Not at all. Take your seats, you two. Try not to be late next time, understood? Yes, ma'am. Lucas and I move past Felix's stable at the front of the class, go figure, 
to take our seats near Cat. What took you to? Uh, did you just want to see Met Metalmoth reaction? To us being late? Of course not. Even so, I could have told I could have told you how he'd react. Recondescension in some hoity toity remark is always. True, but as much as he delights in any opportunity to talk smack about you, you know someone not being punctual bugs the hell out of him. He cited up a storm earlier when you two weren't here while he took attendance. Cat has always been the antithesis to of Felix. He's grumpy. She's perky. He is boring. She's fun. He's a stickler for the rules. She loves breaking the rules. He's arguably my biggest rival in school. And she's one of my oldest, closest friends. I still remember when Kat, Lucas and I first got acquainted. Lucas and I had been hanging out for a couple of weeks when we ran into, the, into her at the playground. Her outspoken, extroverted nature had made Lucas so uncomfortable at first. But in a weird way, I think that drew Kat to him even more. Like the challenge of earning this friendship appealed to her or something. As it turns out, opposites really do attract. She'd taken slightly longer than I had to break through his defenses, but she got there in the end. People often think Kat chatty and, and obnoxious, the same way they assume Lucas cold and distant. But I know I said to them that others don't, and that's what I like about them. Ah, oh, that's nice. I like that. So why are you late? Much as I hate to say it, Metalmouth had a point. You're usually pretty punctual, and it's not like you can commu commute to school. Sammy's new roommate held us up. Whoa, you have a new roommate? Since when? What's the first time I he I'm hearing about it? Don't worry, she didn't tell me about it either. So it's a boy, huh? What's he like? He's... um... He's an alien who crash landed in my balcony one night and turned my life upside down. Now I live in constant fear that government agents will find and drag him to the super secret underground laboratory and run all sorts of unspeakable experiments on him. Of course I don't actually say that, for a multitude of, multitude of reasons. His name's Enoch. He comes from afar. Very afar, according to him. I mean, the guy didn't even know how to shake someone's hands. Someone's hand. For real? Where'd you find this guy, Sammy? And when do I get to meet him? Is he not coming to school? No, he's just staying at my place for now until... Well, actually, I'm not sure how long he'll be staying for. He's weird and mysterious. I want to meet him more than ever. More than once, I've contemplated telling Kat and Lucas the truth about Enoch. Having to hide such a monumental secret from my two best friends, especially one this exciting, has been eating me up from the inside. But that be insane, right? I can't tell them. I can't tell anyone. Lessons for the first couple hours go by in a blur. Soon enough, lunchtime is upon us. Cat, Lucas and I take our usual seats from with our trays. Oh, I hate math class. My brain feels like it's overheating. Tell me about it. I can't wait for the weekend. Oh my gosh, Cat is me. Like, literally. <laughs> I can't wait for the weekend either. The... The weekend? The week's just started. Today's Monday. Same, Cat, same. Hello Nero, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I hope you had a great day today. We are playing my alien roommate. We are continuing where we left off last time. Me doing good. Great. Yes, I'm doing good as well. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Okay, today I have plenty of water. I'm happy.
Exactly, it's the worst day of the week because it's the first day of the week. I cast look as an incredulous look. No, no, she's got a point. You both dorks. To my displeasure, the conversation turns back once again to Enoch. Hey, so this roommate of yours... I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I overheard your conversation a little. Like, when you told him to go home and wait for you there. Oh, you heard that? I thought I'd been talking quietly enough. I just hope that's all Lucas overheard. What's the deal with that? You're not letting him roam around the neighborhood by himself. Uh, right, that's because... um. I can't exactly say it's because I'm afraid he'll give himself away as ma as an alien. Come on, Sammy, think of an excuse quickly. Oh, oh, it's a choice. Oh my gosh. Okay. He's sick. He has work to do. He's a tourist. I mean... Should we go with the second one? Hmm... third one he's a tourist all right well he's a tourist he's never been to San Angeles before and he wants to take in as much as the sights as possible but it's dangerous to be out by yourself especially if you're new to the city you could get lost or mugged or worse what are you his babysitter he gets lost pretty easily, and you saw how clueless he was today. I have every right to be worried. Fair point. Why is Lucas blushing right now? <laughs> I mean, I like it. How do you two become roommates anyway? Who is he? Just a friend he we never knew about? What's his name again? Ezra? Edward? Enoch? <laughs> that was his name. That most definitely was not his name. Not that Enoch would even know what an Enoch is, most likely. What I want to know is why you kept him a secret from us. I wasn't keeping him a secret from you guys. Well, I was. Then why haven't you mentioned him before? He doesn't strike me as someone not interesting enough to bring up in conversation at least once. Since when do you two need to know everything about my life and everything I know, everyone I know? Harsh, I guess we're not as close as I thought we were. And there I was thinking we'd do best friends for we'd be best friends forever. You know that last F stands for forever, right? Saying BFFs for oh yeah, <laughs> BFFs <laughs> forever is totally redundant. Don't change the subject by correcting my English. That is just a Felix move. Hey, never compare me to him. I mean, Kat's not wrong. Getting a new roommate is no, is no minor development. It just came as a surprise when I saw him this morning. Exactly. If I suddenly got a mysterious roommate, you two be the first to know. I tell you all about whatever's going on in my life, don't I? In excruci excruciating amounts of detail, yes. I still haven't forgotten that harrowing story about your drunk babysitter, babysitter and a naked florist. Oh god. That's old news. You don't need to hear that story again. I want to hear about your roommate. I can tell Kat and Lucas won't let up, uh, won't let up on this. I can't tell them the truth, so... What can I say about Enoch and I know each other that won't seem suspicious? His name is Enoch and he's my cousin, he's my pen Paul, is an old friend. Mm. Is he an old friend? I mean... I wouldn't want them to think he's family. 
you know, just in case we end up dating him at some point. <laughs> well, th this is just a demo, so it's not gonna, probably not gonna happen, but... I think he's an old friend is good. Three, okay. He's a really old friend of mine. Still doesn't explain why you've never mentioned him before. I mean, don't you guys also have old friends you've never told me about? Touche. Not me, I'm an open book. I tell you about everyone I meet, no matter how insignificant they are. After all, I told you all about my drunk babysitter and you naked. Yeah, yeah, the babysitter and the florist, we know. So, how'd you and your roommate become friends? Um, well, we met in kindergarten. You were in kindergarten together? Where? Love Green Kindergarten. I instinctively say the name of my own kindergarten out loud before I realize my mistake. Wait, he used to live here? In San Angeles? I thought he didn't know how to shake someone's hand. If he went to school here, even at that age, wouldn't he have learned to do that? Besides, didn't you say he was a tourist? He is. See? He used to live here, and we attended Love Green Kindergarten together at the time. But we only knew each other for a few weeks before his family moved back home to, um, to where he's from. He returned to San Angeles a week ago, and we were connected, which is why I let him stay with me. They just don't shake hands where he lives, so clearly he's forgotten that it's a thing in some part of the world. You mean to say that upon, re upon returning to a city he lived in several years ago, even though he's completely forgotten how to shake someone's hand, he does remember you, a kid he went to school with for a few weeks. Yes. Talk about selective memory. I am very memorable, okay? Sure you are. I'm also curious to know where Enoch's from, to not understand the concept behind a handshake. Yeah, what do they do instead? Um, I'm not sure. Well, you have to at least know where he's from, right? Um, all I had to do was teach Enoch how to shake someone's hand. One of the most basic interactions two humans could have with one another. Yet, for some insane reason, I didn't. And now I'm stuck with this pickle. And in all those stupid movies he'd been watching, did not a single one feature a scene of two characters shaking hands? He comes from... Why are you talking weird? I'm not talking weird, why are you talking weird? I'm not talking weird. Why are you talking weird? I'm not talking weird. You're the one who's talking weird. You're weird. You. Right. Do you not know where he's from? N no, I do. He's from... Um... <laughs> oh my gosh. Do we, do we just say <laughs> their real name? I mean, they're never gonna like figure it out anyways. Exalia, or I can't pronounce the name, or I forgot the name. Can pronounce it? <laughs> sure, okay. Can hello, hello, Antares. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> How are you doing today? I hope you had an amazing day today. I can't say. What? Or you'll have to kill us? Get real. No, that's not it. Then why can't you say it, dude? Come on, stop with the su suspense. I can't pronounce the name. What? Get out of here. No, really, it's one of those complex tongue twister names with a dozen syllables and all kinds of ridiculous letters that go don't go together. I was lurking. Aw, oh, thank you. I appreciate that so much. <gasps> oh my gosh, like... Wow, that word. <laughs> <laughs> the 
same. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. How on earth did you nail that? Jeez, no need to flex those linguistic skills on us. But <laughs> that was a real world word, I mean. No, it can't be. Like, this is a word? What language is that anyways? Wow. That aside, is your roommate really somewhere as crazy as whatever Lucas just said? Yeah, it's not. Imagine having to write that down every time you wanted something sent in the mail. Hey, there's an idea. Why don't you write the name down for us? Oh my gosh! <laughs> this too! Stop it, please! <laughs> Do you have to know? Do you? Um, I can't. Why not? Um, I'd probably mess up the spelling, so... Just write down what you remember, then. I... Okay. With no real excuse to not to, I feebly take the pencil Kai Cat offers me, where'd that come from, and scribble some nonsense down on a napkin. What the hell? I can't read this. Lucas, read it. Read it. Here goes nothing. He clears his throat. Okay, that. Because <laughs> die. Seriously though, this looks like uh, you fell asleep on your keyboard. He comes from whatever this place is. Y yeah, crazy, right? Nailed it. You really don't know how long he's staying with you though? What's he even here for? Can't exactly say I don't know that either. How are they coming up with this many questions? His... Oh my gosh, on vacation? Run away from home, <laughs> working here. <laughs> I mean, we said we said he's a tourist, so he's on vacation, right? Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. He's on vacation. He's spending it here instead of anywhere else. What's wrong with San Angeles? Nothing, but. Wouldn't he rather spend his vacation traveling the world or doing something adventurous? That's what I'd do. Not everyone lives in it for adventure like you, Cat. Lucas and Cat are mercifully quiet for a couple minutes as we return to our meals. I pocket my mashed potatoes, which are too dry and gravy less for my liking. The silence doesn't last. Is he cute? Cat! Oh, you're blushing! Yeah, because he asked an embarrassing question. Trust me, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for you. If you get together with Enoch, this Enoch guy... Oh my god, they were roommates. Precisely. Very funny, you two. I can't help but ponder the question now that Kat's put it into my head. Do I think Enoch's cute? I suppose it's a natural question to ask. Kat and Lucas don't know he's an alien, for one thing, but also, alien or not, Anduk's still a guy. Aside from the purple skin and red eyes, he's mostly humanoid, so it's not what that weird, is it? That being said, whether he looks human or not, there's no getting around the fact that he's not human. Mom, Dad, meet my boyfriend, Anduk. He's an alien from outer space. Cool, right? Check out these gnarly purple tentacles. <laughs> okay, no tentacles. Anok thinks he's cute. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he he thinks he's gorgeous. He's, he thinks he's handsome. <laughs> he's very, very um, confident in himself. <laughs> Yeah, not exactly the easiest boyfriend to introduce to your parents. Wait a second. Does he have tentacles? Girl, <laughs> what the heck? 
Don't most aliens have tentacles, or is it just a stereotype? Enoch might be insulted if I ask. After all, he took offense when I told him aliens were typically portrayed in movies as grotesque creatures that abduct cows and probe peoples. She's been staring into space for a while now. Is she still thinking about what I said? You really caught her off guard. Sure, Enoch can be gullible and clingy, 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 but he has a big heart and he's very affectionate. What's not to like? I generally haven't paid much attention to him looks so wise though, at least, not until this very moment. Plus, whenever he's home, he's purple, and that makes it a little hard to think him of cute, of him as cute, doesn't it? Um, Earth to Sammy, hello? S sorry, what? Come on, Sammy, quit stalling. Is he cute or not? The people demand answers. Well, Cat asked was if I thought Enoch was cute. It's a yes or no question. Why am I overthinking this? Hmm, honestly? Yeah, kinda. Not my type. Well, of course he's cute, right? Hello, hello! When you're support supporting um, two streamers at the same time. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. How are you, RJ Mercy? I hope you had a great day today. We are playing some um, indie games today. And right now we are on the demo of my alien roommate and we are enjoying it very much. Oh man, I'm looking forward to this game. It's it's incredible. It's really good. Feed is ego. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm of course I'm gonna say it's cute. Come on. I was starstruck by him the, from the first moment I saw him. So honestly, yeah, kinda. <laughs> I can't say it's not cute. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, he's sort of cute, in a certain light. So you do think he's cute then? I... <gasps> no, though, I didn't want... I didn't want to get... Oh, minus points for Lucas. Dang it. <laughs> oh, well. I, sh I should have thought about it, though. <laughs> Because of course Lucas is right there, if I was going to say that um, Anok is cute. Oh well. Don't mention another guy is cute when a guy asks, is exactly. <laughs> Though I couldn't just say that he's not cute. Oh well, oh well. He may be a handful, but he's sweet and kind and... He has a nice smile. You lie to them. <laughs> Men like that. <laughs> they do. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm going to keep that in mind for next time. Oh but look at Lucas, like he's so hurt. He's so hurt on the inside. Cause of course he's just he loves the MC already. Oh my gosh, my heart is breaking. I didn't want to hurt him. Haha, <laughs> I knew it, dude. You're blushing so hard right now. See, Lucas, and they were roommates. Roommates. Oh no, totally not my type. Why would it be cute? <laughs> I'm way more into the self-conscious types that don't think they're good enough. Aww. I mean, oh, and look at Lucas blushing. But yeah, I, I, I like all of the three in, uh, love interests here. So it's very hard. Like, what to do, what to do, what to do. Like, of course, if I'm going for one, I'm going to hurt the others. I'm sorry, Lucas. Let us know when wedding bells start to toll, would ya? Oh, shut up! Oh, poor Lucas, I'm sorry. 
second to last period of the day, my thoughts wander back to Enoch once more. I wonder what he's up to right now. Did he stick to his word and go no further than he was supposed to? Is he safe at home? Yeah, where the freak is he? Like, why doesn't, ha doesn't he have a cell phone anyway? Like, it would be so easy for us to make sure he's safe. He couldn't have gotten hurt, could he? Or got lost on the way back and spent the last several hours wandering the streets, searching for his way home. Oh man, get it together, Sammy. I've never been such a worrywart before. I guess I'm still a little freaked out, even after a week of letting it sink, that I live with an alien roommate. And don't forget, it counts for a third of your grade, so work hard on this. W what? Wait, what's she talking about? That group project we're meant to do before the end of the year, remember? You've got until this Wednesday to choose your partners, so if you haven't already, start thinking. You heard her. Wanna group up? Was there ever any doubt? With our parts combined, there's no way we don't knock this dumb project out of the park. Yeah, then we're gonna take our perfect score and go shove it in Metal Mouth's big smug. And remember, this is a two-man project. <gasps> oh gosh, of course it was. I mean, of course it is. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks when you have like... <clears throat> when you are three friends <clears throat> in a class and then you have a two-man project like are you serious <clears throat> are, you <clears throat> are you trying to make us fight jeez say what now class dismissed oh right forgot about that part two people max that means... <sighs> yep. A heavy mood settles over the three of us. Looks like this town ain't big enough for the three of us. Certainly seems so. Uh, guys? One of us has to go. Guys? There's only one way for us to settle this. She reaches into her bag. What are you... We'll have to settle this. With a vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was that was pretty intense. Cat withdraws a notepad from her bag, tears out three shafts of paper and hands them out to each of us. Hello, Love Board Games. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Fight. <laughs> Hope winning works too. <laughs> right. But how are you today? I hope you had an amazing day today. <laughs> I was hoping for a card game. Yeah, I was hoping like for something, you know, <laughs> a little more. I mean, <laughs> I thought it was leading up to something more. Cat withdraws a notepad. Okay. <laughs> Are we really doing this? Got any better ideas? Hi, I'm so excited. I was stuck in a work meeting. Dying to come watch this stream. Enoch is best boy. He really is. I really like Lucas too though. <laughs> but Enoch, yeah, he's best boy. No. Just write down the name of the person you want to kick out of the group. Fair and square. <sighs> Why can't it be a group of three? If we can't all work together, then there's not much of a choice. A vote, a vote is the fairest way to determine the odd one out. How am I expected to choose between my two best friends, though? No matter who I pick, I'll be hurting one of them. This is like when the sidewalk is only wide enough for two people, one of us, so one of us has to walk behind the others. I guess after this, we've, we'll all know which one of us that person is. Oh my gosh, I hate it! I hate it so much! <laughs> Oh no! I knew it! I knew I had to cho choose for myself. <gasps> Why though? Hmm. Vote cat out. Vote Lucas out. Vote yourself out. Okay, if I vote myself out, I'm sure we'll end up with Felix. Which I'm, I'm not really vibing with. 
<laughs> I know how much you guys love him, though. Do we want to work with Lucas? I mean... Yeah, I think I think we want to work with Lucas, <laughs> right? Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's. I mean, it breaks my heart, but. Hmm. <gasps> I would just vote myself out because I would feel bad. I would too, probably, but if I do that, I have to work with that freaking Felix. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Would this mean Cat will pair with Felix? I want chaos. It means that Cat will work with Felix, I'm pretty sure, yes. Yes, let, let's water, water her out. I'm sorry, cat. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me. I write cat's name down, fold my vote up, and hand it to her. <clears throat> Once the votes are, votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave this dumb project immediately. I read the votes. She unfolds the first piece of paper. First vote cat oh god how dare one of you vote for me isn't that the whole point of holding a vote next vote next vote sammy <gasps> shock and horror who who could have done such a thing you two are such dweebs and finally the last vote goes to N me <gasps> yeah I grin at Lucas, he winks at me. Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> nice. Pop. As I live and breathe, I can't believe this. I thought you were my friends and you guys totally, totally blindsided me. I've been betrayed, backstabbed, and quite possibly bumble <laughs> bamboozled. I'm sorry, <laughs> that, that came out wrong, okay. The group has spoken, Cat. Time for you to go. You'll pay for this, both of you. Both of you. You'll pay. You're all going to pay. For my meal at Burger Queen, has an apology? Of course, you big dor dork. Thanks, guys. Hope not today. I have soccer practice. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm glad she, she wasn't mad. Just like that, Kat scoops up the rest of our votes and bounces out in the, of the classroom. She certainly recovered quick. Lucas turns back to me. Walk me to the subway. Sure thing, buddy. Lucas and I leave school together. He takes the subway home, so most days we walk and talk until we part ways at the station. We spend the next 10 minutes discussing the latest video games and which streamers, but eventually he falls silent. <laughs> I love these made-up names for social media. <laughs> that isn't uncommon with Lucas, but we've been friends long enough that I can tell the difference between his usual, comfortable silences and when he actually has something on his mind. Alright, what's up, Lucky? Something on your mind? Sort of. I was just curious, why you picked me for the project? I mean, probably for the same reason you picked me, right? I nudge him playfully and he smiles, but it doesn't look like his curiosity is sated. Yeah, but... Why me over Cat? You had to have a reason, right? Well... <gasps> okay. Cat doesn't contribute much, oh no. <laughs> I'm worried you can't find a partner because we're best friends. Somehow, none of these options are good enough. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to friend zone him. <laughs> I'm worried you can't find a partner. <laughs> I mean, do I go for the second one? Oh. 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the second one. <laughs> Hopefully, he will not get mad though. I figured out of the three of us, you'd appreciate being parted up with the most. Okay, no, I think I messed up. <laughs> Claire, we messed up. What does that mean? I only meant that one of us had to pick a different partner, you'd have the most difficulty. You know, since you're not as close with the rest of the class as you are to us. The words sounds harsher leaving my mouth than they did in my head. It's true that part of me took Lucas' social anxiety into account when I cast my vote. He's not as on bad terms with anyone like Felix is, but he'd obviously be uncomfortable working with someone he doesn't talk to as often as with me or Kat. If it were me or Kat, we'd have a much easier time finding another partner, as I'm sure Kat, ever the extrovert, will have done by this time tomorrow. Uh, I guess I can't argue with that. Well, I appreciate you looking out for me. We continue walking, but Lucas still looks troubled. Hey, I need to grab dinner for me and Anok. Wanna tag along? Lead the way. Oh, I feel bad about that! Oh, dang it! We step into the nearest com convi uh, convenience store. What are you looking for? The cheapest pre-made dinners I can find. Having budgeting problems? What I do have is a roommate seemingly intent on bankrupting, bankrupting me in the shortest time possible. Do you have an idea how much food I've bought or cooked for him in the last week alone? Can't he cook his own meals? No. Uh, sorry, the thought of Henry cooking brings up bad memories. Let's just say him having full run of the kitchen isn't the best idea. Lucas shuffles along behind me as I wander down the aisle of ready-made meals. Oh, this sounds good. Chicken rice with carrots and... Uh, I love humans in the internet, they're always so nice. Not. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Humans in the internet are dangerous. <laughs> oh, this sounds good. Chicken rice with carrots and... Uh, cucumbers? I'm playing Valorant. Oh, are, are Valorant um, gamers mean or something? Well, it's dirt cheap, so I guess it'll do. Toxic. <gasps> just, just stay away then. I wish I wish I could play um, those kind of games, but not with minus the toxic, of course. <laughs> it's an online game, of course they're toxic. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't have much experience with that, so, <laughs> but but I can't understand. <clears throat> but we don't have other friends, so rest in peace. You can play it, it's free. I think I will eventually. Maybe. <laughs> imagine Otome PvP. Oh gosh, imagine it. And if you have a group there, it's not toxic. Well, of course, if you play with your friends, it's fun and all. And when you get to play with strangers who are rude, it's not that fun anymore. Assuming I have friends. <laughs> so toxic people it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any friend who play uh, uh, Valorant either. So I would I would have to play with the toxic people too. <laughs> Grabbing two cartoons, I head to the counter where a small queue awaits. Or with me. 
I think I would be a, a way too, um, um, how do you say it? Not confident in myself <laughs> because I am terrible at those kind of games. I'm sure here are people that would play it with you. I've started playing, um, how do you call it? Um, Pokemon United, I think. Because uh, one of my uh, Twitch friend, <laughs> well, just friend, um, wants to play it with me. And I'm embarrassing myself so much, <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm trying so hard, but it's fun, I guess. You won't get better if you don't play it. That's true. I dropped Pokemon Unite. No friends as well. Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, now you can play with us if you want. <laughs> Pick it up again. Hey, so there's something I wanted to ask you. Something else? It's not another question about Anarch, is it? I don't think I can handle another game of 20 questions about Anarch's fake life story. There's this... There's this movie coming out in theaters tomorrow. <gasps> Lucas is asking us out. Okay. Well, if that's allowed, sure. Of course. Of course it's allowed. It's a date. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. It's not new or anything. It's been around for like three years now. Wait, why is, why is it back in theaters then? I'm getting to that. It's because the sequel's coming out in a couple weeks. It's some publicity campaign thing. They're re releasing the first movie in theaters so people can watch it before the sequel. Tickets are free and it's a limited time event. I never watched the first movie in theaters or otherwise. So I'd like to before the sequel co comes out. Uh, supposedly, the directors of the film are known for good animation and storytelling, and um, yeah, I just, I just thought, I mean, that we could. He's stumbling over his words in a rush to get them out. A behavioral trait of his, I'm all too familiar with. I know this is super long-winded way of asking, but I was wondering if perhaps you'd like to say with me. Watch a movie for free. I don't see the downside. What's it called? <laughs> I don't know why I keep imagining that it's Shrek. <laughs> really? I mean... I mean, it could be. I, it could be, actually. L let's go back one second. I mean, it could be, I guess. <laughs> track, track, track. Will, will we find out? Will we? I hope so. He doesn't know the name. <laughs> Is something wrong? Look at sides. Considering all the teasing he'd made at Cat's expense for being a drama queen, it's ironic he's now milking the suspense for all it's worth. I won't laugh. Come on, tell me. It wasn't Shrek, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's an anime movie called Amor's Apartments. <laughs> what? It's kinda, sorta, like a, a romantic comedy. Maybe that's not something guys watch, but I don't know. You don't have to see it with me if you don't want to. Even though we've known each other for years, Lucas still gets uncomfortable approaching topics with me that he thinks are awkward or embarrassing. He's so cute. Since when are romantic comedies or anime movies gender specific? Amorous apartment new from Studio Ghibli. Wait, it's a thing? <gasps> I love Studio Ghibli. Wow, need to check that out. Check that out. For sure. You! <laughs> no, I wish you tricked me! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, I think.
think I tricked myself really, but <laughs> I took it seriously. <laughs> no. I just don't want to getting the wrong idea. Two people watching a romantic movie together. Yeah. At first glance, it wouldn't be a miss for people to assume we were on a date. Uh, Lucas. Why is this is why I didn't want to ask you in front of Kat. I doubt I'd ever hear the end of it from her. Plus, I'm sure she thinks movies like these are total cringe. If it's not action or horror, she f she's asleep within seconds. So, what do you say? Will you go out with me? No, no, no. Will you go with me? <gasps> okay. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I was reading it. Like, will you go out with me? And I'm like, <gasps> of course he didn't ask that. It's nice of Lucas to ask, because obviously he's extremely embarrassed. He barely got the name of the movie out. That being said, does this even sound like something I'd want to watch? Of course. I could just agree to it for Lucas' sake. It's not like I'm paying for a ticket, <laughs> girl. <laughs> agree to go, of course. We are going. <clears throat> Jumping to the next stage already. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> cool. If the reviews are to be trusted, it'll be great. <clears throat> Let's say we meet at the cinema tomorrow around 7 p.m. Sounds like a plan. You two done talking? You're holding up the line. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Dang. When I return home, I find Enoch lying on the floor. Okay, so he's fine. He should be fine. Legs propped up on the couch and arms stretched overhead. Clutching the remote in one hand, he's switching through channels on TV at random, clearly bored out of his mind. As soon as he, he hears the door close, he leaps to his feet and runs over with a big smile, not unlike how a dog might greet the owner after a long day at work. <laughs> That's so funny. There he is! Welcome home, honey! Oh god! <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, I think you've watched way too many movies. Um, what? Isn't that a thing people say to welcome someone home? <laughs> yeah, but that's like between lovers. Well, I love you, Sammy, so I don't see what's the problem. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Enoch, I'm not sure how it works on Zexalia, uh, but here on Earth, we don't throw words like love or honey around so carelessly. Yeah, thankfully he's alive. <laughs> I thought honey was a term of endearment for humans. Doesn't it mean something sweet? Yes, but that's a term reserved for family or couples and maybe even really close friends. I touched her between us for emphasis. I'm not sure if our relationship counts. I thought we were friends. Are we not? We are, we're just not close enough to use the word love. What about your friend Lucas? He said he was your best friend. Do you love him? Uh, well, I obviously care about you, Lucas. You could say I love him, but like strictly as a friend. That doesn't mean I call him honey in public or tell him I love him. Never mind how I feel, he'd never be comfortable with that. But we're not in public right now, are we? So why can't I tell you I love you? I love you because you're special to me, Sammy. You're my very first earthling. Oh my god. <laughs> first earthling? The first self earthling I've ever met. Just like how I'm the first alien you've ever met. That makes our relation relationship special, doesn't it? Fair enough. I obviously can say that about anyone else. You've also given me a place to stay, food to eat. You didn't report me to the human authorities. You've been teaching me the ways of your people. See? You've done so much for me. That's why I say I love you. Oh, th thank you, Anok. That's extremely cute. <laughs> 
He really says the sweetest things sometimes, but all this talk of love is a little much. Do you not love me then? Have I badly misjudged the nature of our relationship? It's not that. Love is just a very, very broad term to use, and it's typically reserved for someone you have strong feelings for. You don't have strong feelings for me? Feelings of friendship, sure. I just don't know if I'd call... I'd call it love. I don't understand. Friendship, love... What's the difference? I love you because you're my closest friend on earth. Okay, more like my only friend, but it still counts. And it doesn't change the way I feel about you. This is sounding more and more like I'm rejecting an actual love confession. And look, I do feel um, strongly about you, just not romantically. At least I didn't think I did before today. Not until Kat inserted that thought into my head. So you do not love me because we are rom not romantically involved? Like a couple? Why don't we become a couple then? Oh my gosh, this guy! Ah, what's, what's happening? <laughs> Again, not something to be thrown around lightly. We have known each other for a week, tops. But in one of your Hans movies, this princess married someone she'd known for less than a day. <laughs> if they can do that on Earth, why can't we? That's a cartoon, Enoch. Please tell me you're not relying on cartoons to learn about humanity. I don't know if maybe they seem realistic to an alien, but I wouldn't look to movies with talking cars, fighting pandas, and secret Asian penguins for an accurate depiction of the real world. You mean people don't spontaneously break into song the moment they find their soulmate? <laughs> Gosh, why why is she leaving him to watch all these movies? <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Yeah, I thought that was weird too. I still don't think we need to be a couple in order to love one another. I was fine showing my fellows Exilians affection back home. I love you whether or not you were a couple, Sammy. And while you may not love me now, that doesn't mean we can't reach that stage in our relationship eventually. Hey, Hanok. How much do you know of how romance works? Like, in general? Um, I think I know the basi basics. I have to admit my curiosity is piqued now. In that case, how much do you think do you know about? Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Dating, kissing, the birds and the bees. Oh my gosh, I don't know what which one to ask. <laughs> <laughs> this could be real funny. Dating? Hmm. Kissing? Alright. Okay, kissing. That's when two humans mash their lips together and make weird faces, right? Bit of a derivative, uh, derivative description, description, but in essence, yes. Yeah, we don't do that where I'm from. That's just weird. The first kiss I saw in a movie was traumatizing. I can imagine. I thought they were chewing each other's faces off. But I picked up enough con contextual clues to figure it was probably a way of humans show affection to, for one another. Shaking hands as a greeting and touching lips as a sign of affection. Bizarre. Truly, truly bizarre. Still, if this really is a way humans show their affection, then I suppose I have no choice but to learn it too. Oh, oh what? Without warning, he takes hold of me by the shoulders and peers into my eyes. Sammy, will you please teach me how to kiss? Oh, what? What? What's wrong, Sammy? I need to learn how to kiss, so I don't embarrass myself the next time someone tries to kiss me. Oh my god. How often do people try to kiss you anyway? Plus, I want to show you my affection. Now, how do I do this? And oh, wait, kissing isn't... You can't just... It's only between two people who... Enoch ignores my protest and his face draws closer to mine. So, I just lead in. Do I need anything special with my lips? Do I do? <laughs> well, only one way to find out. Here. 
I come. Wait, you don't understand? This is extremely inappropriate, Enoch. I extricate myself from his grasp at the very last second, much to his visible confusion. What's happening? What's the matter, Sammy? Should I pucker my lips more? Yes. Wait, what? I mean, no. Ugh. Friends don't do that. We're their friends. I mean, kisses aren't something you give out freely. But I'm not giving them out freely. I'm only giving them to you. Because you're my friend. And you're special to me. Shouldn't I show affection to a friend so they know I care about them? Oh my god. This isn't something friends do. You can just give people kisses like they're store-bought gifts. <laughs> oh my gosh. Harsh's kisses, on the other hand. This is so frustrating. Why do humans keep gatekeeping affection like this? Oh my god. I tell you I love you and you say I can't do that. I try to show you instead and you say I can't do that either. Why can't I show you affection the way all these humans do? Is it because I'm an alien? Is it weird for an alien to love a human? Or you don't want to kiss an alien? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, this is intense. That's not it. I think. I had that last part because now that he's brought it up, it does bring to mind how weird it would be to kiss an alien. Why do I almost feel disappointed? Did part of me secretly hope for it to happen? To kiss an alien? What the hell am I thinking? Still... It would have been quite the achievement. <laughs> True. <laughs> to become potentially the first person on earth to kiss an alien. Not only that, but it would have been my... My first kiss. Eno keeps looking to me to have all the answers for him. But how would he react if I found out I have the same amount of kissing experience he has? Listen, Enoch, kissing, especially on the lips, is reserved for people who love each other. And I mean that in a romantic sense. So like the honey thing, not something friends do? Not unless they were very close and totally okay with it. And we're not close enough for that. Sorry. No, don't apologize, it's just... I'm so confused. Why are earthlings so complicated? If kissing and telling someone you love them are ways of showing affection, I don't see why they have to be restricted to couples. We may not be romantically involved, Sammy, but that doesn't stop me from feeling love for you or from wanting to show it. I am trying to woo Lucas, you know. <laughs> stop being so cute. I slump into the couch, exhausted, Enoch plops down next to me. So what's for dinner? Are you making burgers again? Nice try, but no. Then... Pizza? Fish and chips? Steak? Club sandwiches? Ramen? No to all of that. I bought us a couple pre-made dinners. He had to mention all that delicious food, Hetty. Yes, pre-made... What? Pre-made dinners, they are meals you microwave and eat on the spot. <laughs> that sounds so... <laughs> so bad compared to all the other delicious foods. Sorry, you know, can't eat gourmet all the time, you know. Gourmet. I'm not getting next month's allowance till the end of the week, so we have to make do. Dinging around in my bag, I take out the small cartoons and hand one to him. Oh, and by the way, welcome back, Lily. <laughs> I forgot to welcome you back. Enoch's brow furrows with suspicion as he reads off the packaging. Chicken rice with carrots and cucumbers, pre-made. Microwave for two minutes and consumed within two hours of purchase. What is this? It's dinner. Honestly, it doesn't look terrible for a cheap meal. But, but... Enoch makes a sad little whining noise and slumps over his in disappointment. I pat him on the back as I head into the kitchen with both cartoons. A few seconds later, he gets up and joins me. 
Your friend Lucas didn't seem to like me very much today. Um, what makes you say that? He didn't seem all that interested in talking to me. He barely answered any of my questions. <laughs> Boy. Um, I guess I didn't give Enoch enough credit this morning. He did pick up on Lucas' closed-off demeanor after all. I was only trying to be friendly. Did I not make a good first impression? Um, oh no. He hates me, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. But he definitely doesn't like me, right? Um, Lucas doesn't, Lucas doesn't dislike you. How do I get him to like me then? Well, I do have some pointers. For starters, give him a little space to breathe next time. Space to breathe? Was I taking up too much of his hair? You were advancing menacingly towards him like a hungry customer approaching an all-you-can-eat buffet table. That tends to turn people off. Oh yeah, you're probably right. I sense Enoch still crestfallen about his failure to bond with Lucas, so I tried to cheer him up. Look, it's not entirely your fault. Lucas isn't comfortable around strangers. He takes a while to warm up to someone new. So what you're saying is, I should spend more time with him to get him to like me? I shrug as I put our meals into the microwave. That depends on if you ever see him again. Lucas is a private person, though. He doesn't go out his way to meet new people unless he really wants to or he knows they share some common interests. I don't measure the third route of befriending Lucas, being as persistent as possible. That's how Kat did it. And I imagine it's how Enoch would do it too. My only concern is that the more time Enoch spends around other humans, especially my friends, the likelier it is that he'll blow his cover. But I can still get Lucas to like me eventually, right? I want to be friends with your friend, Sammy. That way we can all hang out together and I can talk to another human being who isn't you. Not that there's anything wrong with your company, of course. Besides, I trust your judgment. Anyone you'd be friend with would have to be good people too. Since we're on this topic, you should know I had to cover for you at school today. Now that they, we now that they know you exist, my friends were asking a ton of questions about you. You had to cover for me? Why? I told you I don't get cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> you don't need to cover me with anything. As I was saying, I had to make up a bunch of stuff about you. If you ever get to spend time with them, if you ever get to spend time with them, we'd need to keep your story straight. I don't really understand, but does this mean I can meet your friends? Him, it's inevitable. They'll come over at some point. Cat was extremely enthusiastic about meeting you. You want me to meet a cat? <laughs> Boy. I mean, that's fine too, I was hoping to make more human friends, but I do think your earthling animals are very adorable. Cat's not a cat, cat's a girl. The cat isn't a cat? I don't understand, is this some sort of earthling uh, riddle? No you don't, cat's a human, her name's cat, and she's definitely not an animal. You, su you should see her out of the soccer field though. That girl's an absolute menace to play against. Your friend is a menace? Isn't that a bad thing? Look, when my friends eventually come over, you'll get your chance to spend time with them. Awesome. But before we get too carried away, there's something I want to ask you. I've been dreading this conversation, but if this roommate arrangement is going to continue, then this has to happen sooner or later. Well, sooner rather than later. When I first saw Enoch that fateful Sunday night, I'd been terrified. Oh. Although I've tried to deny it, I'd know right away he wasn't human. I didn't really have a plan in mind when I agreed to let him stay. I didn't know why he'd come to Earth in the first place, and I still don't. Enoch dodges the question every time I bring it up. Even though he's been fascinated by all things Earth-related, I haven't forgot I haven't gotten the sense he dislikes his home planet. In fact, there are times he talks about Zexalia with such longing in his voice, he almost sounds homesick. 
Hello Zealand, welcome, welcome, how are you doing? I hope you're having an amazing day today. So, why did he leave and come to Earth? Though I've tried not to think about it, it's crossed my mind more than once that he might have come to Earth for nefarious purposes. I put that thought to rest pretty quickly when I realized how much of a goofball he is, but what if it's an act? What if he's here to gather intel on Earth so his alien bodies can invade us? By letting him stay with me and not reporting him to the authorities, could I somehow be enabling his plans to conquer the human race? Sammy, you wanted to ask me something? Enoch, what I'm gonna ask is important and I need a proper answer. No evasion, no excuses, the truth. Since I'm your roommate and I'm keeping you safe, I think I have the right to know this. Enoch, why are you here? I'm here because you're microwaving my dinner, Sammy. No, no, not in the kitchen. Why are you here on Earth? Why did you come to Earth in the first place? Enoch stiffens. The look of concern that briefly crosses his face would have been imperceptible had I not been observing him closely, closely for his reaction. What made you leave home, Enoch? I hold my breath, awaiting his response. Um, well, I... Gosh, why? Oh, our food's done. Yeah, he, I'm starving. In his haste to avoid answering, Enoch rushes to open the microwave. Enoch, wait, it's hot, you'll... Ah! Enoch, are you okay? Are you hurt? Did you... He takes both meals out completely unarmed. Just kidding. <gasps> Don't do that! I'm an alien, remember? My skin doesn't burn. <laughs> Pointedly ignoring me, Enoch starts scarfing down his food, caring not about scalding his tongue like a human might nor about the blunt, blend, uh, blend taste in comparison to the meals we've had in the past. Enoch. Yes, Sammy? You still haven't answered my question. Uh, yes, about that. He lowers his fork, eyes darting around the room, as if determined to look anywhere except at me. Well, I've always wanted to visit Earth. I told you that, didn't I? Yeah, but is that really the only reason? You sometimes talk as if you don't believe you'll ever go back home. Um, well, I won't. Actually, it's more so that I can't. Not anytime soon, anyway. Why not? He hesitates, as if trying to think of some way to avoid answering. When that fails, sensing I won't take silence as an answer, he relents. I left home because... Because my home planet is at war right now. Oh no! Can't say I saw that coming. War? You mean a legitimate invasive gun blazing kind of war? Are there other types of war on Earth? No, I just didn't expect to hear about something so human taking place on your, on your world. Though I shouldn't be surprised, something like war is pretty universal. I don't like talking about it. The important thing is, Sexalia isn't safe anymore. That's why I fled. I had to go somewhere safe, and I picked Earth, because I've always wanted to visit. But you could have gone to a different planet if you wanted. I could have. Would you rather I had? N no, that's not it. I mean, I'm happy you're here, Enoch. Ah, oh, thanks. I'm happy I'm here too. So Enoch claims to have no ulterior motives for coming to Earth, provided I believed him, and I didn't yet have reason not to. I can put some of my unfounded worries to have an alien invasion to rest. And yet, this news about Zexalia being at war troubles me too. Does that mean there are other refugees fleeing this planet in search of new homes? If Anna can find his way to Earth, so can others. What if they're not as all fr as friendly as he is? Is Earth about to receive an influx of aliens 
here not for invasion but for refuge? Enoch, who's your plan who's your planet at war with? How bad it is. Um can you never go up go back or Hey, this show's boring. What else is on? Enoch snatches the remote, quick to change both the topic on conversation and the channel. The TV cuts now to the evening news and a familiar image pops up on screen behind two new to the new anchors. A week has passed since the sighting of a mysterious unidentified object flying over San Angeles last Sunday evening. No official explanation has surfaced as of yet, but rumors had and conspiracy theories continue to spread like wildfire on Reddit and Litter. <laughs> These made up names. Sammy, look, it's my spaceship. His what? The blurry image on screen shows a bright orange speck hurtling through the night sky. Sure enough, it's an out of control spaceship frozen in time on its ill fated path of mid air self destruction. Is it really as if as is the popular theory a UFO? A shooting star falling out of the sky? A military drone spinning out of control? The possibilities are endless and citywide is citywide interest is still going strong. They're still talking about it? Move on already. Please do. I don't want anyone looking too deep into this and stumbling upon the truth. It's funny, any other time I'd scoff at these crackpot theories and I'm sure I'm sure many are doing at this very moment, as I'm sure many are doing at this very moment. Yet, for once, the most ludicrous theory is actually cor the correct one. See, Enoch, this is why I was so oppressive about letting you wander around you on your own. It's been a week, yet people are still talking about your disastrous arrival on Earth. Even so, what's the big deal? People can speculate all they want. They still wouldn't find me. Yeah, but why take the risk? I don't want anyone getting any ideas about conducting a proper investigation into last week. If someone saw you and land on my balcony, or if someone found the remains of your ship? I frown as an alarming thought hits me. Speaking of which, is that something we should be concerned about? My ship? It exploded, didn't it? Whatever was left of it must have crashed somewhere. That's a good point, actually. This is only occurring to you now? I could say the same to you. My mind is, is already racing with new, increasingly frightening possibilities. Any random citizen could have stumbled upon the wreckage of Enoch's ship in the last week. And he didn't think this could be an issue? Don't worry, Sammy. I'm sure it's fine. Probably. Enoch, as usual, brushes my concerns aside with a casual, unbothered ease that's grown on me now as equal parts endearing and aggravating. Even if someone found my ship, they wouldn't recognize it as anything abnormal. How can you be so sure? Because only an alien like me can see our technology for what it really is. We're not in any danger of being discovered by Earthlings, not unless they've learned how to lock it and operate as exilian tech. Enoch must see the hesitation on my face because he can tell I'm not convinced. If it bothers you so much, I can show you what I mean. He smiles and turns sly. I think I know where it landed. If you take me out tonight, I'll show you. Take you out? Yeah, I want to see what the neighborhood like it um neighborhoods like at night. Oh, that's what he meant? Cutting edge stupid questions have my wires all crossed today. I killed them. <gasps> you mean you you killed <laughs> the people playing Valorant, right? I <laughs> aren't they like supposed to be your teammates or or not? <laughs> Katan oh yeah. Uh, haven't had your field working out around yet. Walking out around yet. Mm mm. It's a five versus five. Oh, so you won. How was it, by the way, walking home today? I mean, it was fun. I did as you said and didn't go anywhere. I wasn't supposed to. I stuck to the streets and enjoyed the freedom of walking among humans. It was surprisingly rebel. Oh no, we lost. Oh no, <laughs> liberating. 
No! <laughs> the point is, I haven't been out at night yet. As they say, there's no time like the present. Wow, you used that phrase perfectly. Color me impressed. Didn't do me good. So you did kill your teammates. <laughs> That's a color called... There's a color... <laughs> There's a color called impressed. Where is it? On the rainbow? And you ruined it. So can we go? But my homework... Which is better, doing homework or spending time with your alien roommate? I can't just not do my homework. Last time I handed in an assignment late, Felix didn't shut up about it for two whole weeks. No, I didn't. Ah. Uh. I'm not saying not to do your home your work. All I'm saying is why do now what you can always do later? <laughs> He's right. <laughs> you make a compelling point. As always. So can we? Of all people, an alien is convincing me to procrastinate on my homework. That has to count for something, right? Oh, <sighs> I don't know what to do. Like... <sighs> I want to take him out, of course. <gasps> but I really want to go for Lucas, though. What do I do? We are in a dating scene. We're going out. Okay. Okay, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I can only deal DMG to my mates with skills. And I don't have them. <laughs> what? Then, then what are you doing? <laughs> if I don't relent now, you'll never stop bugging me about it. Might as well get it over with. Hooray! Okay, I think I'm gonna save here for today on my alien roommate, cause... We need to play the other game. And by other game, I mean Bandcamp Boyfriend. I'm so excited about that one. Killing my enemies. Yeah, I see. <laughs> that's, that's very smart. All right. Well, how are you liking this demo so far? I, I freaking love it. I need to check on when the full game is coming out because I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, the uh gosh. <clears throat> okay, there we go. <laughs> I would go scream on social media. Yahi band camp time, yes. Finally, it's time. It's time. I'm so excited to play this. Oh my gosh. Look at the art. Look at them like... Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Everything is so beautiful already. <laughs> so this beautiful game... Um, We're gonna play the demo. 
and this beautiful game was um, created by Lovebird Games, who is in chat right now, which is so exciting. I'm I'm going in blindly because I I love to go in bl playing games blindly, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this game is about um, a band camp. <laughs> And eventually getting a boyfriend? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love his shirt already. <laughs> Seeing bandits. <laughs> Mr. Wiley. Hey there, congratulations on earning the position of drum major. <gasps> Thank you. Well, is he talking to me? Yes. You're going to have many more responsibilities from here on out, you know? As you know, these past couple years, things haven't been going so well. As stocked as I am to be the band director at, alma, at my ma alma mater, the band isn't what it used to be in the old days. Oh, no. But this, this year, everything is going to change. With my expertise and your leadership, I know we can whip this band back into tip-top uh, form and achieve something special this season. By the way, what was your name again? <gasps> Ooh, that's us. My name is Sammy. There you go. There we are. Nice. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Sammy. Of course I know your name. <laughs> of course. Sammy, the other students won't just look up for, to you for a conducting pattern. They'll be looking to you as a role model, whether they realize it or not. Your attitude, words and actions will influence them in ways you never anticipated. A great deal of power rests in your hands, Sammy. Sorry, didn't mean to freak you out. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be there to guide you every step of the way, and you can surely depend on many friends you've made in band. I know how demoralizing these last couple years have been for all of you. It was hard for me too, sitting in the back of stands um, watching my old band get beat down again and again. Now that I'm director, those times are behind us and we have nowhere to go but up. The marching bandits are about to make a comeback. Nice! Let's go! Don't worry, Sammy. Whatever this band new here throws at us, it's brand new here. I know we can handle it. Oh, wow! That's that was great. <laughs> Monday, August 10th. Welcome to the band. Camp. Woo, it's the first day of band camp. The best two weeks ever. Up until now, we've always had a uh, band camp at the school. This is the first time we're holding it at sports compound away from home. I went nuts with packing. I brought my swimsuit for the lake, my A-plus badminton game, and... Oh no, I forget my instrument. Wait, what? How can you forget your instrument? Girl! Oh wait, I'm the drum major. Uh, right, I don't need an instrument. Oh, okay. <laughs> alright, alright. Good, I have my phone. Hi, mom. Hey, sweetie, did you make it to Camp Bearpaw? <gasps> Camp Bearpaw? <laughs> That's a beautiful name. Yep. We pulled our leftover water bottles together and managed to keep the bus engine from overheating until we got here. It felt like we were stuck in the woods for hours. Oh, what a relief. So, are you excited? Have you met up with your friends yet? How's the new bank director? Did... Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Tom. I didn't know this was voiced. Let me let me um set the music. Okay. Okay. 
Should be better now. Specially voiced. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Sure. Sorry, mom. I have to go. Tom needs help uh, turning on the electric fence. Oh, sorry. See you on the weekend. See ya. Follow me to the electric fence. You'll be a pro by the time I'm done with you. Hmm. A pro at hitting a switch? Sounds complicated. I'll try not to get hurt. <laughs> this is where you turn it on. This is where you turn me on. <gasps> what? Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Flirt back. First laugh. Ew, give, give him the stink eye. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm loving this so much already. Okay, okay, what do I do? Oh, hello, Liv. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? <clears throat> yeah, Tom. You. <laughs> do we give him the stink eye? <clears throat> I mean, it's not man boy. <laughs> I choose chaos and I'm gonna go with that. Though, I mean, I feel a little bit bad for Tom, though. I'm good, I'm just tired. Oh no! Please rest up. I think I'm gonna give him the stink eye. <laughs> just for the fun of it, really. I gave him the meanest stink eye I'm capable of and do not cease assaulting him with it. Oh no! <laughs> no, of course. Sorry. Sorry, I wouldn't do that again. Oh. Oh. My bed, my bed. Mm. Nightbot is a nightmare, Lily. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Commands. Let me fix that real quick. Mm. Come on. There you go, it should work now. <clears throat> okay. I turn my attention to the control panel by the fence. I just follow my intuition and hope for the best when it comes to these things. I guess you put the cone in, hit the switch and there. Now the electric fence should be on. Now to pee on it and check if it's working. What? Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that scared me. Yeah, it worked. Great. I keep an eye on Tom to make sure he doesn't try anything, just in case. Ephemeral is great, indeed. I think I've only played one route there, though, and it was many years ago, I don't even remember it. But, Liv told me that there's a character that is voiced by the same voice actor as Kyrie from Oz Mafia, so I'm definitely going to pick, pick that game up again. <laughs> He's looking at the top of the fence. His eyes follow it around the perimeter of the camp. Why is this even here? Oh, you know, to keep out bears, serial killers, and overbearing band parents. The usual threats. <laughs> of course. I mean, parents are always a threat. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Uh-oh. There are less than 30 minutes until practice starts. I still need to finish unpacking and find my drill book. See you later. See you later, Tom. I'm sorry about glaring at you <laughs> earlier. I dash toward the girls' wing of the lodge. As I'm turning a corner, I run right into someone. The mummy best boy. Yeah, I remember being him being um 
one of the best. What? No. Vampire best boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I can't really say much about it. Wow, that was an attractive sound. Wow, that was an attractive sound. Hey! Oh my gosh, hi Sammy, it's been so long. How are you? Uh, you should be more careful while where you're walking. Uh, Peter and Felicity, our resident trumpet flute dating duo. Seems like every band has one. I try to squeeze past the two of them, but Peter doesn't budge. I can't get around him. <laughs> It's alright, Felicity. Seems like girls are always running into things when I'm around. Oh my god. Sure. Sure, Peter. Okay, that's not going to fly. And I'm going to be late if he continues to hold me up like this. Tackle him. <laughs> oh my god. Sure, whatever. Can I go now? Move it before I give you a tongue lashing. <laughs> These choices are amazing. Um, I, mean, I want to tackle him. What's, what's gonna happen if I tackle him? I'm just gonna get hurt, aren't I? Mm. Two. Mm -hmm. I like this one. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, whatever. Can I go now? Hmm. Two. Okay. <laughs> Majority wins, I guess. I empty out my sarcasm reserves um, to master the driest storm possible. Sure, whatever. Can I go now? Peter looks disappointed, but thankfully steps out of my way. I push past the two of them and head to my room. Let me just... Get the music up a little bit. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thank goodness. Wow, this room is a lot nicer than I expected. We have a roommate. Oh. Hello. Susie, you made it. I made it. I should be saying that to you. Silly, I'm not the one whose bus broke down. The two of us embrace. Susie is my best friend in the band. Despite her small stature, she wields a saxophone like it's nobody's business. I'm in this room super cozy and we haven't um and we even get out our own bathroom. We're living the high life. This is definitely going to be a band camp unlike any other. So much better than having to go back to school two weeks before school even starts. I was never one of those kids who went away to summer camp each year. It's kind of nice to finally get to experience that, you know? Ray uh, is good if you are a masochist. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, I didn't get a chance to catch up with you yet. How was the rest of your summer? Oh, it was so, so great. Guess what? Eugene finally asked me out. I'm so happy. Wow, Eugene. He plays uh, euphonium, right? Eugene plays the baritone. There's a difference. Oh, sorry. I guess I'm not extremely aware of the baritones. It's okay. I'll introduce you sometime. I doubt you'll forget his face once you see it again. He's the hottest guy in the marching band. Oh, nice. Ah, I still have to find my drill book. I'm leading the morning stretches, so I can't be late. See you later. I won't distract you, see at the field. And Sammy. Hmm? Next summer, let's make sure we hang out a lot more. I want a friend like Susie. Yeah, she's so nice. I lead stretches while my Mr. Wiley helps the pit kids unload the rest of their equipment from the instrument truck. Alright, stretching time. Everyone follow along with me and stretch those, stretch those shoulders. I bring my arm across my chest and watch everyone do the same. I switch arms and they do, and so do they. The power. 
dance puppets dance <laughs> this would totally be me <laughs> if I were leading in anything <laughs> As we're stretching our, our quads, I notice someone out of place. A guy who's in the pit is doing stretches with us. Seeing as the pit doesn't march, I don't think he's supposed to be here. I make my way over to speak with him while everyone is focused on ankle rolls. Hey there, dog. Hey. I got his name right, a small victory, but it feels so good. Oh my god, that feeling when you get someone's name right? <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> yeah, uh, hey Dong, you don't really need to be here. Why don't you go help the pit set up? <laughs> Look at his expression. <laughs> I point to the parking lot uh, where the pit kids are gathered. You mean you're sending me back? But Mr. Wiley said I could march this year. Why would he lie? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I thought you were still in the pit. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> he was <laughs> cute and beefy. <laughs> you had me worried for a second there. That was my mistake. So uh, you're marching at the drum line uh, this year? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I asked Mr. Wiley if I could join him this year. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. Well, that's nice. He does have a nice smile. It's really hard to see around my best drum, and I keep tripping over myself. But I'm sure I'll get the hang of this crap stepping thing eventually. My section leader cracked me in the shins with this. <laughs> sticks whenever I screw up. It's a great way to learn. The other day I... It doesn't seem like he's going to stop talking anytime soon and I still have stretching session to lead. Wait patiently for him to finish? Shut up please, I'm dying over here. <laughs> Walk away without saying anything. Somehow I always want to get for like the chaos choices. <laughs> Shut up please, I'm dying over here. <laughs> I don't want to be mean to him, so... So do we just walk away? <laughs> or we wait patiently for him to finish? Mm. Mm, I mean, since he's so nice, do we just wait? Mm -mm. Just go. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do I just go? <laughs> I leave him here like this? He's so nice though. <laughs> okay. I don't want to walk away without saying anything. <laughs> Doc doesn't even seem to realize I left. Oh, okay. He's still over here talking. <laughs> Hello, Infinity Yen. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Just tackle him. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tackle dog would be very, very hard though. Like, look at him. <clears throat> yeah, there's no tackle, unfortunately. But still, even if there were a tackle um, um, option, we would die <laughs> if we did. <clears throat> He's still over there talking. Who is even talking to? And is anyone listening? So how do you want to do this thing? Huh? Well, he asked me to run some warp up drills from my drum corps. Um, you care if I take over? Uh, go for it. Get ready for some jumping jacks and arm circles. <coughs> oh wow. One, two, three, four, faster. Whoa, Peter's warm ups are intense. Everyone run a lap around the field, no cutting corners. I'm not paying you to slack off. <laughs> I don't think you're paying anybody. No one's getting paid. Night drop and give me 20. <laughs> what? 
I embrace the burn. <laughs> Great work, everyone. Let's loosen up with an awkward massage strain. Sammy, care to help me demonstrate? <gasps> oh gosh, isn't he like? Doesn't he have a girlfriend? Say nothing and give yourself a massage. <laughs> of course. Mm. I mean, I, I really don't want to help this guy. He has a girlfriend, right? But I mean, I really like his voice. <laughs> I'm easy like that. Too? <laughs> Everyone is saying too. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? What? Okay, say nothing and give yourself a massage. And there's nothing naughty about it. I massage my own shoulders, silently glaring at Peter all the while. I see how it is. Hey everybody, finish what you're doing and gather around the podium. Oh, I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Yep. Apparently he dies. Why are your kids touching each other? That's icky. Just wrapping out the camps, the cramps from all the hours of standing at attention. <laughs> Finish up and let's start. Oh, that's his girlfriend, right there. The one in front of Peter. Before Mr. Riley puts us to work, I decide to give the band a pep talk. I raise my voice and inject it with as much enthusiasm as it can contain. It's finally the first day um, of band camp. Today is one of the few days we'll be feeling completely fresh and energized, so make sure to give it all your all. Oh, wow. Oh, Peter? <laughs> he, he does, he gives off Yandere vibes, really? <laughs> Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> <coughs> Mr. Wiley is good his policy. <laughs> Police, yeah. <laughs> I like Mr. Wiles. <coughs> it's finally the first day of band camp. Today is one of the few days we'll be feeling completely fresh and energized. So make sure to give it your all. I know we had a rough time these last couple years, but if we stay focused and work hard to, to improve, I know the Blue Mountain Bandits can break um, a score of 90 at this year's championships. Thank you, thank you. My words are followed by a round of cheering and applause. Mr. Wiley beams at me proudly. Alright. Well said, Sammy. But I don't, I don't just want you feeling fresh and energized today. I want that every day. So make sure you're all staying hydrated and getting plenty of rest during our breaks. I yes, of course. You know what else? Times have been tough. What with the school having to hire a new band director every year? Well, I'm happy to say it's finally found a permanent one. I'm here to stay and I'm going to do everything in my power to restore this band to its former glory. Let's go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Those lowland troopers who follow us to every competition and humiliate us all the time, it's time they experience the bitter taste of defeat. Let's go! Everyone cheers, twice as pumped as before. I have faith in you, Mr. Wells. Let's both do our best. Yay! Woohoo! By now, you all should have received your dot coordinate sheets to show your exact position of the field at any given point in our show. Rookies, if you have any question about where you need to be, ask your section leader. The section leaders will have all the drill charts, which show a bird's eye view of each information. They'll help you out. This year we are learning a show <coughs> we're learning a show based on Host Planet's suit. Yeah, I know, super original, but Mr. Wells kept on saying. I like hiring a professional to arrange an original show as much as the next guy. I also like Bunny, but we have neither, so we're doing a show straight out of the public domain. 
Oh well, it's still going to be epic. Here, Sammy, make sure every leader gets one. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the, t for the follow, Una Tempest. <clears throat> Thank you! I really, really appreciate it. My voice is leaving me. <laughs> okay, let me drink. But thank you, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. All right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for the hydrate. Okay, it should be good. <laughs> hello, hello, Huna Tempest. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? My name is Sammy aka Otome Addicted and today we are playing some um, indie Otome games and right now we are playing Bandcamp Boyfriend it's it's so good we, we have just started basically but it's so funny <laughs> like really really funny the art is beautiful and it's also partially voiced which I didn't know so that's cool too Mr. Wiley dumps a dozen drill packets into my arms for me to pass out to the construction leaders. All at once, they descend upon me like vultures flocking around a fresh piece of roadkill. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the art looks so good. It does. And the characters are also funny. <laughs> the drill charts practically fly out of my hands. The last person to approach me is the saxophone section leader. Hey Samuel, Samuel, here you go. He takes his drill packet with a calm nod. Well, it looks so cool. Samuel is pretty good at keeping a low profile. Even though I've been in band with him for two years, I've barely spoken to him. Well, seeing as I'm, I'm a drum major and all, now would be a good time to start. Excited for the show? Hmm. It's a little generic, but I'm sure it'll go over well with the judges. Yeah, Sammy and Sammy. <laughs> what a great pair. I mean, we are destined for each other. <clears throat> yes, how can you not love Gustav Holst? <gasps> okay, I think I'm in love with his voice. I mean, I've barely heard it, but... So what's your section like this year? Any rookies? Let's just say this is gonna be an interesting week. Okay, I love his voice. <laughs> okay, I'm sold. Interesting, you say? Uh-huh. <laughs> this is gonna be it, right? <laughs> Our conversation is over. Um, should I say anything else? Okay, okay, okay. Well, have a good one. Enjoy that saxophone. <laughs> See you around. Oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> well, have a good one. Enjoy that saxophone. I really want to go for the second one. <laughs> Come on, I, w I will do that. I will. I'm sorry. <laughs> Enjoy that saxophone. <laughs> I knew he wasn't going to be impressed. But I had to. What is his deal? It was just a play on words. <laughs> he did not appreciate it. See, just trying to liven up the conversation. <laughs> oh no, that second option, I'm laughing so hard. I'm internally tracking your affinity with each love interest. <laughs> I think... I <laughs> It's going, it's going pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> but but Samuel uh, really caught my eye. So, hmm. I'm really interested in him. And his voice has nothing to do with it, huh? <laughs> Sammy, how about you circle it and help some of the rookies learn their sets? We won't need you to start waving your arms for a while yet. Oh, okay. Whatever you say. Of course. 
I stride off to another part of the field and turn my attention to my fellow bandmates as they busily learn the formation to Mars, the opening movement of the show. Oh my god! <laughs> you have yet to pick a positive option! <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad! <laughs> like, lately I'm so bad at picking, up, at picking choices. <laughs> I wanna cry! Well, it's also you, uh, you guys' partial uh, fault, because I always rely on your um, advices. <laughs> <clears throat> Suddenly, a commotion breaks out in the mouth. I'm so, I'm so sad though. <laughs> I still need to pick a positive option. I really hoped that um, it was gonna g work with Samuel, but guess not. But yeah, suddenly a commotion breaks out in the mail phone section. Yeah, everyone shares the blame. <laughs> yeah. Um, sounds like one of the mail phones has turned into an angry phone. <laughs> I swear, this is so funny. <clears throat> I didn't do anything, I swear. <laughs> yeah, you're not to blame, Nero, because you're not helping out. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I've been wanting to use that joke, but I'm not sure how well it will go over. <laughs> there is no way you're in the right spot. Okay, Olive, calm down. Get with it. Seriously, I've explained it to you at least three times now. How are you not getting this? <laughs> of course it's her. What seems to be the problem? Hmm. Pop that there, pop that there. <laughs> Pop Dart here can't find his spot to save his life. Oh, Pop Dart, you're so cute. It's okay. Oh my gosh, how can you be uh, Olive? How can you be mean to Pop Tart? And I mean that name also. Like, <laughs> what a great name. <laughs> don't don't be offended, Nero. <laughs> <clears throat> Pop-Tart is a fan favorite. I can see why. Definitely can see that. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, he's so cute. He's a cutie. I turn to scold a not-so-mellow mellophone. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying here. This humor is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I get pet pets. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> Look, it's his first time doing this. He doesn't need you breathing down his neck. Just worry about your own drill sets. Fine. There you go. Phew, that got rid of her. So you're called Pop Tart, huh? That's an interesting name. Are you a freshman? Oh my gosh, he's mumbling. <laughs> I love him. Hello, welcome, welcome, Tartakino! Welcome, how are you doing? I hope you're having an amazing day today. Well... <laughs> Me too, I love the comedy. <laughs> how are you, Sammy? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I... I'm so... I'm so... <laughs> I'm having the time of my life with this freaking game. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the comedy is so on point and the characters are so great we are playing some indie games today uh, we have finished playing uh, well we are not finished with it but um, we have played my alien roommate and now we are playing Ben Camp boyfriend um, and it's so funny the art is beautiful the characters are great the comedy is on point and it's also partially voiced, like, it cannot get better than that. Um, he's white, so you have to cuddle to hear him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I saw that. I just finished a band ending with Finn <gasps> on Adagir's route in Resume Prison and I'm emotionally destroyed. Then you have to stay here and laugh with us. But I'm really sorry you got a bad ending. I hope I hope it's not my fault for um <laughs> for the advice I gave you yesterday. 
<laughs> well, I'm sure n just one choice wasn't gonna hurt too much. But Adagio's route is really hard to get um, a good ending. So it's fine. Just try again. <laughs> but other than that, I'm great. Good, good. But I understand the emotional... Um, emotional ride you went through with Adige <laughs> and plus his his ending his bad endings are brutal jeez I'm sorry I'm gonna cry <laughs> happy tears I hope Poptar speaks so softly I can't hear a word of what he says I lean forward straining my ears and catch nothing <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to speak up. Everyone who has spent more than a year in this band is off death. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Yes, happy tears for all the nice things you said. Well, it's just the truth. <laughs> oh, I said I'm a sophomore, not a freshman. But this is your first year in the band. Mm -hmm. I started yes. playing French horn at the beginning of last year, but I was in the middle school band since I was a beginner. All these voice actors are great. I need to check them all out later. Like, I also really love his voice too. <laughs> okay, if there's a choice coming up for him, we need to get the positive one. We need to. My guidance counselor says joining an extracurricular activity would help me get more socially acclimated. He's so cute and sweet. <laughs> Though he's he's a he's sophomore. <laughs> that means he's really young. What is he like? Uh, well, we are a junior here, right? So that's not really... He's probably 15 and we are 16 or 17. So that's, that's okay, right? <clears throat> huh? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, it was a joke. <laughs> Good one. So what can I help you with, Pop-Tart? Yes, he's a year younger than you. Scandalous. <laughs> oh, that's, that's totally fine. <clears throat> um, I couldn't seem to find my spot, so my section leader gave me the drill charts. But I'm having trouble reading them. Yeah, his happy face was so cute. It says I'm supposed to be four steps in front of, of the front hash and two steps behind a 40 yard line. I thought this was right, but everyone keeps yelling at me and telling me I'm wrong. Help. Hey, hey, it's going to be alright. Here, it helps to hold the chart this way. Like, you're on the front side line. Sideline. Pretend you're overlooking the field from the direction's point of view. Uh, I found a problem. You should be two steps off the other 40 yard line. Oh. I lead him across the field and show him where his dot is. He stands on it. Like, look at the art. It's so... Oh my gosh, look at the trees. Like, it's so... Really, really good. Nice, nice. When you're reading your coordinates, be sure to check whether you're on the left or the right side of the field. If you're to the left of the 50 yard line, um, left from Mr. Wiley's point of view, it'll say, it'll say side 1. If you're to the right, it'll say it's side 2. He deserves so many headbutts. I agree, he really does. <gasps> okay, we need to concentrate on this. Oh, I see, there's so much stuff to remember. Ask if there's anything else confusing him. Leave his head enough help. Okay, this should be this should be easy, right? It's the first one for sure. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else confusing you? Mm -hmm. The part about being inside or outside the yard line. No one really explained that to me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Yay, we got it! <laughs> I'm so happy. 
to inside the 40 means your dot is two steps to the left of the line your left but if you were making off if you were marking off uh, the other 40 it would mean it would mean two steps to your right oh wow I suck at explaining things <laughs> this uh, inside means toward the center of the field and outside means toward the nearest end zone does that make sense um. I think so if worst comes to worst, just look at the form everyone else is making and you'll be able to guess where you fit in. That's what I did when I was a rookie. I'm sorry, I probably just ended up confusing you even more. No, no not at all. I think I understand now. He really is so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me. Of course. You're welcome. See you later, Pop-Tart. Good luck. Wait, it's dangerous. It's dangerous to go hungry. Take this. <gasps> he reaches into his hoodie pouch and hands me a pop tart in a shiny wrapper. I mean, how how accurate can this get? You got the pop tart, a rich flour, high fructose corn syrup, and sugar never tasted so good. Oh, I love this. What flavor? Strawberry. That's so nice, thank you. Bye. Yeah, I mean, he gave us food. Like, I mean, he's the perfect. He's so perfect. You're welcome. <laughs> we got a precious pop art from the pop tart. <laughs> That's just awesome. I say goodbye to pop tart and move off to help another section of the band. I wish I could always get paid in Pop-Tarts. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. It's a slow morning of learning drill, but thankfully we break five minutes early for lunch. Uh, when I was in the US, uh, because I studied there for one year in during high school, um, I, I did... Um, I was obsessed with Pop-Tarts. <laughs> They were so good, but we don't have them in Italy, sadly. But I'm happy I got to taste them when I was there. It's a slow morning of learning drill, but thankfully we break five minutes early for lunch. Of course, Mr. Wiley talks for ten minutes after that, so we don't actually get up early. Bonjour. <gasps> Bonjour? Bonjour to you! <laughs> oh, hi, Garth. Garth is the color guard, captain, and band president. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> My sister and I's jaw dropped when you say you don't have pop darts in Italy. Yeah. It's the truth, we don't. It's really sad. I know. <laughs> I, I'm, when when I was in the US, I was also obsessed with Reese's. Like, peanut butter in Italy is not um, is not famous at all. Like, nobody eats peanut butter here. So when I was in the US and I got to taste it for the first time, I was so in love and so obsessed with Reese's. Like, so good. No, we do not have Reese's. We don't. We freaking don't. And if I want to like buy them on Amazon, they are so freaking um, pricey. <laughs> but I did once because I was craving it. <laughs> and it reasons are like heaven. <clears throat> we don't have them in Australia either, but I've heard of them. See, okay, so it's not just Italy. <laughs> we only have it in specific store that has American sweets and drinks. Oh wow! Then then that's good. I mean, I wish they did the same here, but nah, of course not. Quick, send Otome addicted pop tarts. Yes, please. <laughs> I would love that. I would love that so much. How is your first day of camp been doing? Been going? <laughs> Great, seeing as no one has to worry about getting smacked with black balls yet. Oops, that was a joke in poor taste. Thankfully, Garth laughs, his eyes full of humor. Yes, he understands humor, points to him. 
<laughs> Help a sister out. <laughs> Thank you. The guard will join you soon enough, and when we do, I promise no one will get hit by a stray flagpole or rifle. Nice. <laughs> so, how was your morning? His voice is also really nice. Gosh, <laughs> what am I gonna do? I was wondering if you would join me for lunch. We can discuss the upcoming season. Sure, let's go eat. Eating with a senior, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, when I was in the US, I was um, a junior. Because I was 16 at the time, and I was always, always eating with um, seniors because my host sister, um, she was a senior. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> I, was, I was always happy during lunch. We head to the cafeteria, nab a few burgers and chocolate chip cookies and take a seat at a small table in the corner of the room. I look for Susie, hoping to catch a glimpse of Eugene, but she's nowhere to be found. Oh well. Oh, and also when I was in the US, I was so obsessed with the band. Like, they were so good. The band was awesome. Sorry, I'm just throwing facts <laughs> here and there, but they come to mind and I just have to say them. So what did you want to talk about? Let's start with the fun stuff. I have a few spirit day, uh, day themes for next week that still need to be decided upon. So far we have the usual lineup. Beach day, tween day, and school spirit day. I need one more plus an idea for section um, on Friday. Um, any suggestions? <gasps> okay, okay, let's concentrate here. Here day, planet day, no clothes day. <laughs> I mean, the, the last one would be pretty funny. Mm. Planet Day is also good. Hero Day is like super fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know which to pick. Hmm. I mean, do we just go for hero day? I mean, I really want to say no clothes day, but... <laughs> hero day, no clothes day. The third one? No, no, it's good to hear about your travels. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, let's go with the third one. Okay, I agree. No, <laughs> no, he it. He was not. It's not. We should have gone with Hero Day, Claire. <laughs> we hold practice in the nude. <laughs> what could possibly bring the band closer? Oh gosh. <clears throat> I see where you're coming from, but it seems like a good way to get slapped with a sexual harassment lawsuit. Not the third option again. I forgot how hilarious the dialogue options can be. I love it so much. Me too. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> he got so serious though. <laughs> oh, you may be right. T take this discussion more seriously, please. <gasps> no, he's mad now. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. Uh. I haven't laughed so hard in a while. Well, uh, then that's that was um, that was worthwhile. Good. <laughs> there you go. How about superhero day instead, and we can combine the theme of our show with section day. Yes, that that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> sure. I'm still partial to no clothes day. <laughs> Glad we got the spirit day sorted out. Anything else you needed? Nothing that can't wait. So, are you excited for your first year as drum major? Um, I guess so. Yeah, he is so excited and terrified. Yeah, we are excited. 
<clears throat> so excited and a little terrified. Terrified? Why? Well, I'm thrilled to be drum major, but I'm also kind of dreading it. Everyone is depending on me. They're literally going to be looking to me to lead them. And what if I mess up conducting during a competition? Yeah, I mean, it must be so, like, really hard work. Only a true leader would be so concerned about doing the right thing. Okay. You are going to be just fine. Sammy, you're a person full of talent and de dedication. I know you're going to be just fine. You think so? <laughs> well, that's nice of you to say. <laughs> Indeed. I know so. We finish our lunch, keeping conversation light. I feel a little calmer after speaking to Garth. I didn't mean to let my inhibitions leap out like that, but he wound up being the perfect person to talk to. The, dis the Discord invite link has expired. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me fix that real quick. You have to know that me and um, me and technology <laughs> are like worlds apart. Plus, I'm very forgetful. <laughs> So there's that. But I'll fix it right now. Okay. It didn't work for me either. I got you. I got you. I hope I do. <laughs> yeah, because uh, when I first um, when I first did the Discord um, thingy here, the command for Discord, I think I just left off the um, old link. Okay, so it's fixed here, and then the timers needs to be fixed as well. Okay, should be good. Let's see. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> why aren't you? Okay, <laughs> I was starting to panic again. <laughs> this freaking technology. Let me know if it works. It should be fixed now. Thank you for letting me know. <clears throat> All right. It's working. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad. Just angry at you. <laughs> I get I get so frustrated. <laughs> oh, with with technology really. It worked. I mean, yes. Welcome, welcome on the Discord. <laughs> mm. In the afternoon when it's too hot to re rehearse on the field, um, we gathered inside a room in the camp's recreation hall to work on music. Usually the band breaks off into sectionals, where the student leaders rehearse music with their respective instrument sections, but today we'll be staying together as one group. The, the hot sun is beating down and there's not much shade in the field, but it looked like, um, but it looked nice by the lake. It'll definitely have I'll definitely have to go swimming at some point. Yes, the lake! While everyone is getting the instruments out, I notice Mr. Wiley stuffing some earplugs in his ear. He doesn't want to hear us. <laughs> you have to protect your ears, especially when you've been doing this gig as long as you ha as I have. Oh, makes sense. 
at 33, I'm already losing my hearing. Can you believe that? And here I always thought my mind would be the first thing to go. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Wells. <laughs> Very funny. I'm not sure if I was supposed to laugh at that. <laughs> Sammy, you should wear earplugs too. It gets loud up in front of the band. Got earplugs? They must have fashion uh they must have fashion statement for kids who think being able to hear is cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being able to hear is very cool. Rehearsal goes well enough. I miss a tempo change, but no one gets mad at me. I'm human, right? Last time I checked, anyway. Peter, make sure you don't hold that high note to so long. Mm -hmm. He. <laughs> he. How do you know it was me who played it? Oh, because you do it all the freaking time. And no one else can play as high as you. But I won't say that out loud for fear of your stroking, of stroking your ego. <laughs> yeah, let's not compliment him. Thankfully, Peter takes my advice. Tom jabbers throughout the area also, but I don't have the heart to tell me to tell him to shut up. <laughs> I'll let Mr. Wiley take care of that. Thomas, Thomas shut your mouth. <laughs> Practice ends on a good tone. I'm so witty. As I'm packing up, I feel a sudden presence behind me. Oh, who is this? Oh, it's Clark. Lovely. If he's here to critique my conducting again, I might have to kick him in the shins. <laughs> I have a complaint. You have a complaint? That doesn't surprise me. If it's about my conducting, it's not. Though your technique could certainly use some work. God, give me strength. Right. So what's your complaint? There is a time and place for behaving like unsophisticated apes. But that time is not in the middle of band practice. Okay. As a leader and a role model, you need to put these people in their place. Threaten to kick them out of the band if they will not complete. That was in short. I'd hear to he I hate to hear the long version. Anyway, he must be referring to the brass section. How should I handle this? I already know what you're gonna say to Clark. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, apologize and promise to work harder. Tell him to take uh, take it up uh, with the band director. Tell him to go suck his clarinet read. <laughs> you mean, it has to be the third one. <laughs> please, please, it has to be the third one. Like, it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> oh, hey, Clarky Poo. I like messing with him. Okay, then it is the, the third one, indeed. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Go suck your clarinet. Read, Clark. Excuse me? Oh, <laughs> You heard me. As Clark glowers at me, I can see every inch of hatred in his eyes, like his face. His face is... <laughs> he's sweating. <laughs> but there is nothing he can do. I have the power. He turns the leaves with his metaphorical tail between his legs. Ha. Huh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Time for the nice long dinner break. I meet up with Susie and grab some food at the cafeteria. So, where's Eugene? Yeah, I want to meet her boyfriend. Oh, he's hitting with the rest of my section. The low brass can be such a click sometimes. Every section is in its own way. To my surprise, Tom suddenly sits down at our table. Oh my gosh, I love their clothes too. <laughs> He's followed by Peter, who is followed by Felicity. There goes the neighborhood. Hey. I still don't know if Felicity is is Hi. like good or not. I mean, she seems nice. Hey, mind if we join you? Not at all. My popularity seems to be shooting up now that I'm drum major. So, nice. 
<laughs> Whoa! You were playing... <laughs> you were playing with your trombone, Tom. <clears throat> That's nice, but did you memorize any drill or music? Huh? Yeah, the t-shirts. Yes, they're on point. <clears throat> uh, you do know what we're here for, right? <laughs> of course, man. You're so easy to mess with, Sammy. Yeah. Yeah, no, I am. <laughs> hey, Tom. Can we, quit to can we quit talking about band practice? We're on break. I can't think Peter's right. Like, I don't want to think about band at all right now. I just want to relax. Can you believe the clarinets are already having a sectional? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Is this red thingy on the table a button to call a waiter? Waiter, bring me another slice of pizza, please. <laughs> okay. How did our dirt poor school afford to send us here? I mean, who is paying for all this food? Don't question it, Felicity. If you do, we might wake up back at school. Maybe they're finally starting to respect the music program. That would rock. Oh, hey, Peter, Felicity and I are going to play badminton later and we need one more player if anyone wants to join. And if you do join, you better be ready to lose. I mostly keep to myself for the, uh, for the rest of dinner. Tom and Peter monopolize the conversation, so Susie and I don't get to talk as much as we wanted to. Once we're done, we still have some extra time to enjoy ourselves. See you later. See you later, Susie. What should I do with my free time? Ooh, have dessert in the dining hall, relax by the lake. <gasps> Ooh, be right back. Of course, Lizzie. I'll be here waiting for you. Uh, where where would be uh, where would uh, pop tart be? Having dessert or relaxing by the lake? Hmm. Number one. All right. Having dessert by the lake. I mean, not <laughs> by the lake. I mean, I wish that was an option. <laughs> I mean, dessert. Okay. <clears throat> Dessert. Yes. Of course, his name is Pop-Tart, so... <laughs> I think I'll stay and have some dessert. I deserve it. I deserve my... Just desserts. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I start heading for the ice cream bar when I hear someone calling my name. <gasps> there he is! Cutie. Sammy, Sammy! Pop-Tart is sitting by, by himself. As I approach, my jaw drops in shock. He has an entire plate of so soft-serve ice cream in front of him. <laughs> of course he does. The ice cream is smothered in every topping the bar has to offer. Chocolate syrup, cookie dough, peanuts, sprinkles, gummy worms, mounds of whipped cream. There's even a cherry on top. <laughs> the food here is amazing, don't you think so? And we can have ice cream anytime we want. I mean, it's a dream. It's a dream, I love gelato so much. So cute. I know. He's so cute. He's extremely excited. His voice is louder than usual, too. I am more amazed you can eat all of that. Actually, I don't think I can. Do you want to help me finish it? <gasps> sure, why not? Just throw away what you don't eat. No thanks to many calories. We, we are helping him. Come on. Oh, of course. It's it's ice cream. Come on. Do we care about calories when we eat ice cream? No. Sure, why not? Ice cream <laughs> for copious amounts of ice cream. <laughs> nice. That was nice. Please don't scream. Oh, I wasn't planning to. Top Pop Tart passes me a spoon and we proceed to devour the monstrous mountain of ice cream together. Yahi, you're doing great with Pop! Yes! Nice! <laughs> I'm so happy. <sighs> that was delicious. I feel ready to take on the world. 
I feel ready to take on a fistful of stomach antacids. <laughs> Herb. Thanks for helping me finish this. No problem, it was my pleasure. Mostly. So, so to summon him, we should break up strawberry pop tarts and mix them into vanilla soft serve. Yes. <laughs> I think I, I, I need to do that. So I need to get pop tarts somehow. <laughs> So that I can do my summoning. <clears throat> I still have some time to spare. What should I do? Ooh, play some badminton. Hang out at the band field until practice starts. Um, I mean, I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to the band field, right? I don't know, I don't really want to go to Tom and Peter and Felicity badminton thingy. Yeah, let's go to the Benfield. I decide to swing by the Benfield. It looks like there are some other people here. I wonder what they're doing. Once I'm closer, I can make out two groups. Oh wow. <laughs> The drumline is holding a casual game of football on the practice field. Doug is among them, yelling his excitement. I love Doug. <laughs> He's so cute. Near the sideline, the clarinets are holding a sectional. They stand in a small arc around Clark, playing while he conducts. He looks really good. Um, he's conducting, I mean, his techni con uh, <laughs> technique is flawless. Go long, Doug! Doug rockets past. His case is glued to the football soaring over his head. Oh wow, oh wow. He doesn't see Clark until it's too late and crashes right into him. The two wind up on the ground in a tangle of limbs. <gasps> Ouch. Ouch. Clark is like, oh no, here she comes. <laughs> yes, I'm his worst nightmare, I swear. And b yeah, but now Doug is being his worst nightmare. <laughs> you buffon. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, man, I missed the ball. Damn you. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so pissed. You could have given me a concussion. Even worse, you could have run into one of my section and seriously damaged the instruments. He gestures widely to the clarinets, Doug seemed to finally notice their presence. <laughs> Sorry, Clarence. My name is Clark. <laughs> he even got his name wrong. Awesome. Doug doesn't show any indication of hearing him. He's already jogging off to retrieve the football and rejoin his buddies. I watch the drumline play while re listening to the clarinets. Every section in the band is required to have at least one section on each week to work out the tricky sections in the music of, of their own time. Sammy, go long, go long! W what? Before I know it, I've been robbed into the drumline's football game. The ball, the ball um, is sailing straight towards me, dangerously close to Clark's sectional. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? <laughs> Doug and the others are running towards it. But they'll never make it in time. Desperation shi shines in Duck's eyes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Catch it! Oh man, hand eye coordination. Don't feel me now. I dash forward a few steps and make a dramatic leap to the for the ball. Time seems to slow down around me. Everyone is watching. Like some kind of action hero, I catch the ball in mid hair and then neatly back uh, on the ground we did clutch my hands. Okay, okay. So so we did it. <laughs> Both Ducks and Clark's eyes are on me. They're waiting for me to do something. Spike the football and scream, touchdown! Confiscate the football. I mean We we spike the football and scream touchdown, come on. Doug, you're not helping. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, I know what I must do. I will do it. Touchdown! I, sp 
I expect the football into the ground. It bounces up and bobs Clark directly on the nose. <laughs> no, guys, no. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. He will hate me forever. But I can't bring myself to care. This is my moment. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. <laughs> yes, I mean, that was freaking awesome. <laughs> Hello, Heron. The drum lines warns me, chanting my name. They lift me up in celebration. Oh my gosh, this is my moment. <clears throat> this is a memory I will carry in my heart forever. <laughs> that was great. It's time for my favorite part of the day, the evening rehearsal. We are indeed his nightmare. We are. The sun goes down, the air, the air cools off, and we put music to the drill we, le we learned earlier. Somehow, it's super energizing. <laughs> Poor Clark. <laughs> yes, for real. He's so unlucky. <laughs> Every time we show up. <laughs> If all goes well, I'll get to do my salute at the end of the night. But first, stretches and another basic section session. I stroll about and help out the rookies. Oh, careful, Pop Tart! You're hunching your shoulders and holding your elbows too close to your chest. Stand tall, elbows out. But this mellophone is so heavy. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at her. She's so strong. <laughs> he takes one look at Susie's uh, saxophone and shuts his mouth. <laughs> After basics, I conduct a few music warm-ups and then we start syncing um, the music with the drill one move at a time. There are intermittent water breaks. I practice my salute whenever there's downtime. The entire evening... There seems to be excitement buzzing the air. We're putting together our show for the first time under a new director who really seems to care about the band. It's early in the season, but I can already tell this show is going to be a hit. Everyone grab a quick water and set up for a run through. Peter, you know what that means? Oh yeah. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> I mean, look at Peter, though. Like, okay. Okay. I, I agree. Yes, yes. <laughs> Funny those sounds down comes out. <laughs> okay. Before we step off, our lovely front ensemble is going to show you what they've been working on back behind the port of John's. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Don't pretend like you think that highly of us. Oh, hello, Marianne. Get set. Pit, do your thing. We're going to open this. Uh, we're going to open with this while the judges are getting settled in the box. Pretty neat, huh? I like to call it space junk. I'll bet you come uh, October, it'll actually sound good. The ballad percussion, percussion instruments aren't together at all, but maybe that's how it's supposed to sound. <laughs> One of the pit rookies drops a suspend, um, suspended uh, symbol. Well, I don't know how that's pronounced actually. <laughs> Whoops. That definitely isn't the music. Okay, calm down, everybody. Oh, Sammy, I forgot to tell you something. We are not doing the salute anymore. What? Pit, stop. I can't hear myself talk. I said the salute is way too predictable, so we're shaking things up this year. Instead of saluting when, they announce, when the announcer says, Drum Major Sammy, is your band ready? You're going to turn your back on the judges and start conducting immediately. Because screw those guys. Wait, what? <laughs> Is this a good idea though? Uh, but... But... Let's go. Butts are for horses. Let's go. 
We're burning daylight, moonlight, whatever. <laughs> Are you sure <laughs> we should do that? But I practiced the darn salute more than I practiced my conducting, is what I want to say. But I'll bite my tongue and do my job. Ha, huh, there's my megaphone. I read off the introduction to kick off the show. Huh, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> okay. Sammy, as soon as I say your name, turn around and start conducting. Okay, Pitt, you can start playing space junk again. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce the Blue Mountain High School Marching Band, presenting their 2020 field show, The Planet. This is nice. Selections include Mars, Venus, Mercury, and Jupiter from The Planet, The Soul by Jim Scott Holt and arranged by Victor Wiley. Let's go. I think Mr. Wiley is getting a little ahead of himself with all this narration. He reads the Caesar lift up for a better view of the field, continuing his speech as he rises. I know it's silly, but I really wanted to do my salute. No, I shouldn't let this get to me, like, get me down. I'm the drum major. I'm right where I want to be. Salute or not, it's going to be amazing. Ugh, Miriam the pit captain is staring at me intently for the count off. I should be ready too. Let's go, let's go! <gasps> Asichi! Ah, she looks awesome! She's so pretty! I ascend the podium, embrace myself, and Mr. Wiley finishes rattling off all the names of the section leaders and soloists. Let's go! Drum Major Sammy, is your band ready? Here we go, our first run through of the show. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go, let's go! Just look at that fire. Look at that pure, unadulterated defiance. I love it, Sammy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I suppress a smile and stay focused. The music builds slowly. The woodwinds and brass are marching in two regimented. <clears throat> regimented blocks on opposite sides of the field, like two armies marching towards each other to do battle. A chill goes up my spine as the show comes to life under the field lights for the first time. The two halves of the band collide with each other and merge into a jagged, chaotic shape. Wow, they sound incredible, like a professional wind band! Everyone comes to a halt at the peak of the crescendo and flags thrill in the air. I give a cut off. And just like that, it's over. That's the end of everything we've learned so far. It wasn't even a minute long, but it's the beginning of something epic. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. And cute. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We are going to beat this not out of those other bands this year. He jumps up and down, hollering and pumping his fists. I laugh. Showing in his exuberance. And that's a wrap up. Okay. <laughs> really great job today, kiddos. Not a bad first day at all. Yeah, I mean, and it's all just in one day. Like, great job. If we keep up this same momentum through this week and next week, no doubt we'll just keep getting better and better until we achieve our full potential. And they are still naked. <laughs> but Mr. Wiley, what if we have reached the peak of perfection? What then? <laughs> There's always room for improvement, and this band is far from the peak of perfection. I can see Clark nodding vigorously. Uh, vigorously. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> it's getting too late for me. Vigorously, up front. I'm pretty sure Peter just meant himself but it went over Mr. Riley's head. Before we turn in, in for the night, it's time for Sammy to announce who won section of the day. Ooh, what a responsibility. Wait a second. Did you just bring the responsibility of awarding this section of the day on me? I've been so focused on doing a good job conducting that I wasn't looking out for the best section at all. 
could a Mr. Wily have warned me ahead of time? Yeah. <laughs> Whoever wins gets to hold onto the, this trophy. I dug out of the bowels of the band room. We won it in the last competition. We beat the troopers back in. His queen's at the <laughs> it queens at the dusty little plaque of the base of the trophy. 1999, before any of you were even even born. Well, Sammy. Um. Who should I give the section of the day award to? The trumpets, the trom trombones, or the clarinets who held the sectional today? Do we do we give some credit to um? To the clarinets because like I mean they deserve it yeah I'm pretty sure the clarinets deserve the the award let's go the section of the day award goes to the clarinets after all they already held a section on, on day one that's some dedication right there He's, he, Clark, Clark is happy. That's good. The band bursts into applause. Clark steps forward and accepts trophy with grace. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for the stream. I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well, guys, and sweet dreams. Thank you for staying, Nero. I always appreciate it so much. Please have a great night and sweet dreams to you. His clarinet section is all smiles. I think I made a great choice. Thank you, Sammy. Mr. President, do you have any important announcements for us? Just a friendly reminder to pick up your 2020 show shirts from the Dining Commons. And don't forget about the beach party at the end of the week. Oh, nice, a beach party. Uh -huh. Oh, Clark finally got recognition. Yes, finally. <laughs> He, he deserves that. <laughs> like, after everything we put him through. <laughs> Let me know by week uh, by Wednesday if you'll be staying or taking the early bus home so we know how many bug uh, burgers and hot dogs to make. <laughs> Hear that, everybody? Don't come wanting to me. I mean, wanting to Mr. Riley when you don't get a hamburger on Friday because you forgot to RSVP. I got one more thing for you all tonight, rookies. You're going to love this. He races off to the utility shed and comes back holding a bundle of gray fur. No way, is that... Oh! <gasps> That's a weird looking cat. <laughs> Seriously, like... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, that thing was in the shed? Looks like she's finally awake. This pretty uh, weirdo gal is my pet raccoon. Bandy Boo. Oh, Bandit. Her name is Bandit. <gasps> yes, so cute. <laughs> the raccoon is so cute. Like, she's gonna be our mascot. <laughs> I promised myself if I still wasn't married by the time I hit 30, I would adopt one in honor of my high school mascot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's, it's adorable. Dude. Yeah, dude. Your school had a raccoon mascot too? Whoa. Doug, it's the same school. <laughs> yeah, because he went here. Did you miss the 100 times you mentioned that? Really? <laughs> Is it legal to own a raccoon as a pet? You're right, Samuel. It should be illegal to be this cute. <laughs> Okay, like the rest of her kind, Bandit is a kleptomaniac, so keep an eye on your valuables. Oh gosh. Hey, what's that she's chewing on? Is it one of our wind chimes? See, what did I tell you? <laughs> well kids, that's all for tonight. Go get ready for bed. Yeah, just go get ready. <laughs> Everyone spreads their legs and shoulders wing. Let's their arm fold uh, to their sides and bows their heads. We stand quietly, waiting for the signal. Some of the freshmen glance around in 
in Wonderman before following suit. That was awesome. We all snapped to attention on the final B, our chins high and our eyes blazing with pride. After an electric moment, Mr. Wiley grins back at us. Yes, congratulations on a productive first day of camp, Blue Mountain. Be sure to get plenty of rest tonight. In your own rooms. Absolutely no gentlemen in the ladies' rooms, and vice versa. And don't forget, we're on a 10 o'clock car uh, curfew. What I tell you? Oh, dang it. <laughs> Mr. Wiley is indeed wildly caring, uh, <laughs> wildly caring about Little Bandit. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Agreed. I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. Where are you? When are you getting up? Around seven? I need time to shower. What? You're going to sleep all sweaty and gross? Yuck! Hey, if I don't shower in the morning, I won't be able to function. Fine, then I'll just have to plug my nose while I sleep. Good night! <laughs> ah, good night. I put on my PJs, turn off the lights, and climb into bed. As I'm falling asleep, I reflect upon the day's events. I sure encountered a lot of faces, some new and some old. I'm looking forward to all of the new relationships and memories this year will bring. Just like Mr. Wiley said, things are going to change. <gasps> that was so great! Tuesday, August 11th, Mission to Mars. That was a great first day though. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Okay. Cause it's really late for me. It's mi past midnight, so. But I had such a great time with this game. With both these demos, like. I, I'm, I'm so in love with indie, indie games. But yeah, what what did you think about Ben Camp boyfriend? I think it's just it, it's got everything really. The art, the music, also like the music, it's it's freaking awesome. Thank you so much, Lovebird, for making this game. Like it's incredible. I'm so happy that I decided to start playing indie games cuz like they're so great. Yeah, we're definitely continuing them. Next week. Because they're, they're, they're awesome. Awesome. I'm looking forward to actually releasing it one day. I really hope you do. I really hope that you do. Because playing the full version would be a dream come true, really. Yes, you guys, thank you so much for staying with me. It was really amazing and I cannot wait for next week to continue playing these games. <gasps> oh my god. I need to set up more days for playing um, indie Otome games, really. <laughs> I will. I will plan my schedule better. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for staying with me. For those who are going to bed, sleep tight and sweet dreams. And for those who are continuing with their day... Have a great day. Thank you guys for staying with me. Thank you to all who just watched. And thank you to everyone who stayed with me and chatted with me. And thank you Lovebird for making this awesome game. Thank you, thank you. And thank you Lily for being an awesome um, mod. <laughs> I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Bye bye, you guys. Bye bye, Antares. Bye bye, Automatart. Bye, Lily. Bye, Loveboard. I'll see you when I see you. Hopefully, tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye.